you need several things to make a baby. You need normal ovaries with a normal number of eggs and good quality eggs. You need normal sperm, open tubes, and a normal uterus to implant. So the first step to the fertility to to the journey of infertility really um, is doing this workup. So and it can very easily be done in about one cycle's time. So to check the sperm, we have the partners, um, the male partners do a semen analysis, which just basically looks at count um, of the sperm, motility of the sperm, meaning how the tails move, and morphology of the sperm, meaning how the head is shaped, because the tail has to move in a certain way, and the head has to be shaped in a certain way to be able to penetrate an egg. Um, and that can be very easily done in just in, a, in any andrology lab. Um, the second uh, part is what's called a hysterosalpingogram, or basically an X-ray of the uterus and tubes. This is um, a procedure whereby a catheter is inserted into the cervical canal, and we infuse radiolucent dye into the uterus and actually take X-ray pictures of it coming out the tubes, um, really to show that there's a normal uterine cavity where an embryo can implant and, and open tubes, which is where the sperm, sperm and egg meet. And an HSD actually has not only a diagnostic benefit, but also a therapeutic benefit, and that the month that you're actually having your HSD, you do have a higher rate of pregnancy. Nobody knows exactly why. It's probably because you're clearing the way for eggs and sperm to meet. But very often, patients come see me, they have the workup, and in the month of the HSD, they become pregnant, which is great news for me. Um, and the last piece, and really the most complex piece, is the ovary. And we look at two things when it comes to the ovary. We look at quantity of eggs, or something called ovarian reserve. So every month we're losing eggs. So there are markers that we can look at to give us a general idea of sort of how many eggs you have left or quantity of eggs. That can be done with a simple ultrasound. You can actually count the number of resting follicles or sacs of fluid that house an egg. Um, you can also send a marker called AMH, which is anti-mullerian hormone. It's a hormone that can be sent at any time in the cycle. Um, and it's a hormone that's made by the small resting eggs in the ovary. So the more eggs you have, the more AMH you make. Um, and there are also other markers that are more time dependent um, based on the time of the cycle, and that's FSH. Quality is the other part, which I can't test your blood and tell you what the quality of your eggs are. The only way to really, really look at a quality of an egg is to create an embryo through IVF and test that embryo. So although we can't specifically test the quality of your eggs at that moment through a blood test, we, we, we know what percentages of normal and abnormal eggs to expect based on age groups from testing hundreds of thousands of embryos at various age groups. We know that a 30-year-old has about a 60% rate of having genetically normal eggs, whereas a 41-year-old has about a 10% chance of having genetically normal eggs. And that's pretty much the workup, looking at the ovary, markers for quantity of eggs, looking at the sperm, doing a, a semen analysis, and looking at the, the tubes and the uterus um, with an HSG, a hysterosalpingogram. Mm -hmm.